If you're not sure which mount you should choose for yourself, I believe this episode will help you out. My name is Petar Palovic and in this episode I want to share with you my experience with sail video system mounts which I have been using for almost a year now. First we will see how they look, then I will tell you how practical and durable they are and I will give you some tips on how it's the best to use them to get the best shots. Both mounts are looking pretty much the same. Just the harness mount, you should screw on your harness first. Which is super easy, you can check the tutorial of sail video system on how to mount it. The shoulder mount comes with the straps, which you wrap around your body and connect the straps together right in front of your chest. With the harness mount, you will get two aluminum poles, which you connect together. I have the one with a clap system but you can get also the ones which you should screw one on top of the other. The pole on the top has the screw on which you can easily connect the Insta360 or you can connect the aluminum GoPro mount that you get in the Selvido system package. On the bottom of the pole there is a piece of plastic in the shape of a star that you can easily connect to the mount on your harness. You will also get a leash which I like to connect just around the handle of the harness, so in case something breaks, you don't lose the pole and your camera. Here you have a screw for regulating the angle of the pole, I will tell you more about it later in this episode. The shoulder mount comes with one short pole, which you connect on the mount exactly like on the harness mount. Unfortunately this time, the pole doesn't have the leash in case something breaks, so I added one myself. Of course you have to fix the harness mount on the harness. And many people are wondering if the screws are in contact with your skin and uncomfortable. I always use at least the lycra before putting the harness on and I never felt the screws. Honestly, I didn't try to ride with the harness directly on my skin, so I cannot tell you if in that case you might feel them. I also always wear the shoulder mount over a lycra at least, and I never felt any discomfort. I believe that for some people could be uncomfortable to wear it directly on the skin because the edge of the straps might irritate the skin. If you are already kitesurfing and you want to mount the pole on your harness, it is possible but quite difficult. With a shoulder mount you can do it easily. I don't have any difficulties riding and performing my jumps with any of those mounts, but I had some problems while landing to blind. Often my camera got tangled with the lines, so I'm not going again for some blind moves while I'm using the Sailvido system mounts. I broke the connection star around 5 times with the harness mount and once the mount plastic broke. It always happened after a hard crash. As the stick is quite long, it has a strong leverage, so it's quite easily breaking. You will get the spare star connections if you buy a harness mount. So now I'm using this mount just for easy tricks that I'm sure I can easily land. I never broke the shoulder mount, even after a super strong crash, the mount was handling it without any damage. In my opinion, you get a bit better shots with a harness mount. You have better view as the pole is longer and you cannot see where the pole is connected. With a shoulder mount, you can also get a really good shots, but maybe not as good as with a harness mount. The shoulder mount is also quite visible on the clips. But what you might do is to make a hole in your t-shirt 
or lycra and put it on top of the shoulder mount so again will not be easy to understand where the stick is connected. I have never tried to use just a normal GoPro camera to make kitesurfing videos with cell video system mounts. I don't believe it would be worth it as the stick is visible. So I recommend to use just 360 cameras like Insta360 which you just screw on top of the stick and you're good to go or a GoPro Max for which you will have to use the GoPro mount and I recommend screwing it super tight with a screwdriver. Because if the camera changes just a bit the angle, the pole would be visible so the shot would not look so epic. You can change the angle of the pole however you want. With the harness mount you have to make sure that you're not leaning it too much. Because while riding and leaning back the pole would be touching the water which might as well break the mount. I like to angle the pole at 45 degrees. I choose the side depending on the spot, the sun and the tricks I have planned. You have to know that if for example you put the pole on the left side and you perform a trick with your right leg out of the strap, it would not be really visible. You could also keep the pole straight up just with a shoulder mount, I do not like to keep the pole straight up because the legs are hardly visible and it can create distortion while editing the shot. When you put the stick on the side with the harness mount, since the camera is reachable, you can turn the camera on and off while riding. With the shoulder mount, I'm not able to reach the camera while riding, so I just leave it on during the whole session. The shoulder mount, more practical, more durable, you might use it for many other activities. The harness mount might give better shots, reachable to turn it on and off while riding. Now should be easier for you to decide which mount fits you better. Anyway, I'm happy to have both, so I can use them depending on what shots I want to make. In the description you will find the Selvido system link and you can use the code KE5 to get at least 5% discount. Which camera is better, GoPro Max or Insta360? For this I should make another episode to share my experience in detail. But recently I prefer GoPro Max as I find it easier for downloading and editing the footage. Anyway, the quality of the clips is good on both cameras. Please let me know down in the comments if this episode was helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon.